Okay, this is my new annealer. Um, I'm going to give a short demonstration here, and then I'm going to show you what all the parts are and how everything works. This has a speed controller on it here. Um, this is the on off switch, if you can see it. Notice that I'm using a roller instead of just a wire. Um, this tub here was nothing more than a um, aluminum, six inch aluminum cake pan. Um, it had a lip on it and I had to cut it down to the proper length for these cartridge cases, which are 7 by 57. Um, this depth here will allow you to use uh, 30 out 6 length cases also. You see this little steam coming up here once in a while. Um, I've got some ripped up towel in here with, with some water so that when the case hits it, um, the heat does not migrate back to the head of the case. Right here you see a switch, which I'm going to turn on. That switch operates a fan, in, which in a few minutes, when this is done, and I cut the, the, the flame off, um, I'll show you what that operates. There's a little fan for the electronics that helps keep everything cool. We don't want our electronics to get too hot. I don't know if you've noticed, but a lot of annealing machines make a lot of noise when this brass moves around. Um, and you notice that there's not a lot of sound when the brass hits the bottom of this either. Um, I used some spray sealer, that rubberized sealer, and sprayed all of this and all around the outside of it through here the inside of this and the outside of this that helps stop all that ringing it annoys the heck out of me i don't know about y'all but this torch head here uh, is held on by by nothing more than a piece of uh, aluminum angle um, there's two u-bolts here and here that hold it in place there's a slotted area right here uh, with a bolt holding it in so I can rotate it this way and I can rotate it this way and, and get the alignment right where I want it. This dial here is set uh, it says L60. I have no idea what that means, but using my stopwatch, um, this is in the pan before it drops about five and a quarter seconds. Which, with the flame setting that I have here, seems to work just fine for annealing the cases. They're not getting too hot, they're just getting annealed.
if you've seen previous vids of this machine as the iterations went through this used to be just a straight ramp right here well I added this here and it made reliability better um, and it also allowed the timing to be a little bit more precise as far as when it drops and when it feeds we've only got a few more cases left so um, as soon as these are done Might not have put enough water in there, huh? But this sure does make um, annealing easier and all my brass is going to be consistent because they all were exposed to the flame for exactly the same amount of time. Something very important if you, if you want uh, consistent accuracy. this running. Oh, let me rotate this a little bit so you can see what we got here. You see these hinges here and here? They're great big hinges, right? Well, I found out it was necessary. Little light hinges didn't work too well because when you put all this junk on this on the front of this, it gets heavy. And so I ended up needing a bigger hinge. This whole thing is held by a magnetic catch and it holds very well. Um, and come around here and show you how this is put together. Um, if you look here, woo, right there, that is a 40 tooth pulley. This one and this one or 62. Up underneath there's a couple of idler pulleys here and here um, and this just I just did it this way to, to ensure that I had as much engagement on these pulleys as possible to prevent slippage. Um, tension is, is at this point and that point um, other than that, the rest of it's pretty darn simple. Now, behind here, in this area right in here, uh, on this side and on this side right here, there are, um, excuse me, uh, bearings for the shafts to go through. Now, this, all this stuff is metric. So we have an eight millimeter shoulder bolt here going through and it has six millimeter threads on this end. So I drill a six millimeter hole in the center and she lines up beautifully. Also, if you notice how I built this thing, right here, there's a piece of half inch and a piece of quarter inch. And that was done on purpose so that I wouldn't have to um, space these things out. What I decided to do was was uh, mark center here and mark center on this, drill my holes with this uh, quarter inch piece uh, clamped and then um, I unclamped it, um, marked a circle that was 
um, six and a quarter inches in diameter, uh, took a saw and cut it out, and that allowed my release so that we don't have feeding issues. When you look here in a minute, when this when this comes around, you see how it's um, below that, and that, and that dramatically improves feeding, so it doesn't bounce and bobble around and all that sort of thing. Now, <clears throat> this is how I mounted my my uh, fuel tank. Um, you can order these almost anywhere. And there's the brand name, Kamalon. Down here, uh, you see this little screen and opening here. That's for my ventilation, and I'm about to show you that. All right. This here, um, is, within this plywood right here, which you see here and here, and it's closed off in the back too, um, is my electronics. Um, this is hinged, and I have full access to all my screws here. You just pop this little plastic cover up and you can um, loosen or tighten the screws and add new wires, whatever you need to do. Um, this little switch here goes directly to here. So this air is force fed down into the electronics and, and when, this, when this door is closed, It seals off this area too. So air flows, d flows, uh, flows this way straight down and it also cools this on the back side. And then you see this little tunnel down here? That goes, it flows straight out the back and through that screen. Um, you notice that I keep my tools in here uh, for storage. Um, I also put a carrying handle on this thing. Um, and it's really no problem at all to unplug this thing. kind of a messy guy but anyway and you can just pick it up and carry it around wherever you want to go with it <clears throat> now as you can probably tell I'm no professional at making these movies or st and stuff but hopefully I gave you a pretty good overview of how this thing works um, if you're interested in building one of these um, comments below.